Todd. <gasps> Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. What's the point, isn't it? Androids don't eat. There so. wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Uh, what's... Where is the light? Damn house. What do I do? Go out and hire a fucking android. What a joke. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They're never tired. They're never sad. So fucking perfect, they ruined my fucking life. What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off! You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking accountant! It's all your fault. Daddy, no! It's all your fucking fault! Here. Come back here? Come back here right now! How dare you? Oh. You stay there. No! Don't you dare fucking move, or I'll bust you worse than last time. No, no. No, I want to move. Break the system. We can't let him hurt Alice. Getting the gun. Fuck this. I'll fucking shoot you. gun and get the fuck out of here. No. That's an order. No. no. I want you to leave her alone. 
If you want? What do you mean you want? What are you gonna do? You gonna shoot me? Is that it? Yeah. You gonna shoot a human? You seem to have a problem. I think we need to fix that. <clears throat> Guys, I'm concentrating. <laughs> Teddy. Oh my god. Oh my god. We just shot her dad, but he was a bastard and we need to protect her. So was there a different way out of it? Like, I didn't see the different way out of it. I'm totally not crying right now because we need to, I needed to protect her. Like, I know how it feels being in a domestic violent relationship. Well, not with, not with parents, but had it with partners before and and I, it, it's because the game looks so real as well like they I I don't know how I haven't played this before like oh my god like <laughs> I'm actually crying like this game is amazing but it is throwing me somewhere else completely because it is so emotional. We've met Connor, who is a police detective thing. Um, Marcus, he is caring for an old guy who likes to paint and his son is just addicted to drugs. And now we've got Kara, who is protecting this child that needs that parental figure, but Todd is just, well, he's Todd's dead now, but... <gasps> He's just an absolute dick because drugs have got into his system and I know what happens to people when they have too many drugs, their mood just changes. This game is hitting hard. Really, really hard. Really, really hard. Damn. Do you guys want me to continue playing? We've been playing now for an hour and 40 minutes. I don't mind continuing. I 
I don't mind. I I really want to continue playing. It's just I'm thinking of you guys. Like, do you mind if we just play Detroit Become Human? I don't know how long this game is. At all. Like, I, I don't know. We might be, like, 5% in and I think we're already, like, 50. I don't know. This is the beginning of the game? Okay. Okay. We'll continue. I'm just gonna have a two minute break and we'll be back. I just need to get something to drink. <laughs> and I need a tissue. So, <laughs> buckle up guys. I'll be back. I'll see you guys in a bit. I'll be two minutes. And we're back. Let's do this. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. <laughs> All they care about is how much money they're gonna make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Scotch? Neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Oh. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Okay. Marcus, no, I'm gonna come with you. to help me so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a G-I-R-A-F-F-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-
Look, I've already called the police. You should go now before you get yourself into more trouble. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes it so special Ooh. anyway, huh? Where's it got that item? Leave him alone! Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one! Stop it! What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! Person, you're just a fucking piece of plastic. Oh, Leo, leave him alone. No. I'm gonna destroy you. It's gonna just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart. And nobody's gonna give a shit anymore because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. This is supposed to be. Don't you just hate it when your cat wakes you up like this? Meow, 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 meow. Thank you, Jamie. This is supposed to be a heartwarming moment where Carl has just died of a heart attack and you're on about a fucking cat. <laughs> Thank you for the 10 biddies. Oh my god. Oh, Carl. Oh. He was fragile and ashamed. Carl, don't leave, okay? Please don't go. Don't leave. Remember, Marcus. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. No. No. Dad. No. Please. This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. The android. It was the android. What a dick. I have just killed Marcus, what happens now? Yeah, but they were having a heartwarming moment at the start and then Leo, being Leo, had to like disturb it because he's like, oh I like drugs, I like the sniff sniff and then he killed the moment and now Jamie's on about a cat I love the biddies, I love the support, but can we, can we try and keep donations and everything to when there isn't a cutscene going on? <laughs> 